Hey guys, it's Lauren from Hot For Food, and today we're gonna do a Mother's Day recipe. I decided to go sweet. I don't know why, it just seems like the most logical thing to make on a Mother's Day. Whether you're gonna have brunch or lunch or dinner, then you need an awesome dessert. So I was inspired by the internet and I thought we could make a banoffee pie, which is basically a banana and toffee pie with whipped cream on top. It looks very delectable and delicious. I have never had one before, um, but I feel like they were all over the internet for a while. They got very trendy and it's an English type of pie and it just looks delicious. Toffee? Who doesn't love toffee? So we're gonna make this. It's a, it's a good one you can pre-make and chill in the fridge until it's dessert time. And I think your mom's really gonna love it. My mom's gonna love it. John's mom's gonna love it. And let's get started. All right, so we're gonna make the crust in a food processor. It's cause you need to get everything ground up uh, pretty fine. And so we're gonna use gluten-free oats. Guess what everybody? The crust is gluten-free. You're gonna grind the oats into a flour. All right, so once your oats are very finely ground like that, then you can add the rest of the ingredients. Now you're gonna add walnuts, brown sugar, and sea salt, and then process that. And while the machine is running, add cubes of cold vegan butter until the crust comes together and you can pinch it. You're gonna use a fluted pie pan with a removable bottom like this, and then you're gonna dump the crust into it and start pressing it in into an even layer all around. All right, so you're gonna freeze your crust before you bake it just so it's really cold. So it doesn't have to be totally frozen, but it should feel hard and cold. And then poke a few holes in it, and then we're gonna bake it at 350 for 20 minutes. The toffee filling is just made in a pot with one can of full fat coconut milk, brown sugar, tapioca flour, and sea salt. And then you're gonna heat this over a simmer So once it gets a little thicker, this is where you wanna be whisking constantly so it doesn't stick or burn. While you're whisking, you'll notice the toffee starts sticking to the side of the pot. That's pretty much when it's thick enough and then you can just remove it from the heat. So you're gonna thinly slice about four bananas and toss them in a little bit of lemon juice just to keep them from going too brown. And actually the lemon juice helps the flavor come through a bit more because now you get a bit of acid mixed with the sweetness and it's not overpowering or anything. You're only adding about a teaspoon. Okay, so once your crust is baked, you're gonna let it cool and it will harden and turn into a crust uh, and then you're gonna remove it from the fluted pie pan. Then we are gonna fill it with a layer of bananas and pour the toffee over top and then you do need to let this chill overnight. So you need to plan in advance. So while the crust is cooling and before you pop it out of the uh, pie pan, that's when you want to make the toffee filling. Mine was a little bit too set and goopy when I poured it into the pie, but it still worked out. But don't make it in advance, just make it while the crust is cooling so that you can drizzle it over the bananas and it really oozes into the whole pie. So we have one already finished and ready to go. And we are going to put whipped cream on the top. Now, I'm just being honest with you, I've run into a little snafu. Something is going on with the coconut milk that I always buy, I always make from scratch coconut whip um, with the coconut cream and it's not working. I've wasted now a bunch of coconut milk trying to get it to whip and it just curdles and it's all weird. I don't know what's going on. So we have had to purchase a pre-made coconut whip, which is also delicious. We're gonna dollop this on the top. We're gonna put some chocolate grated on top and then our banoffee pie is ready. There it is, the vegan banoffee pie. Oh my God, it's so luscious. It's so, I don't even know what, what to say it is. It's so good. Holy shit. You're gonna die. I'm, I can't stop eating it. You're gonna die, mom's gonna die, everyone that eats this is gonna die. I mean that in the best way possible. 
Mmm. These are all of my favorite things. Coconut, chocolate, nuts, vegan butter, bananas. Mmm. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the vegan banoffee pie. Make it this weekend for your mom, your mom's mom, your dad's mom, everyone's mom, because it's Mother's Day, and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Let me know what you think of this recipe by leaving a comment below and giving us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, click that little button in the corner of this video right here. That way you'll be part of the notification squad. We're here every Wednesday. We post a brand new video Wednesday morning for you. Thank you so much for being here. We're over 300,000 subscribers. What? Let's hit half a milli, a milli, a milli. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye, love you.